Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, it's a long time since I've done any videoing um, so please bear with me um, and also um, don't look at my hands because they're covered in ink. <laughs> um, I've been doing lots of inking. Um, this is my latest uh, journal. Um, I've not made any for quite a while because uh, I've not been very well but um, feeling a bit better now. Um, it's a uh, uh, A5 sort of uh, size journal. Um, it's got a material um, fabric, should I say, um, cover, um, which I've put, I've decorated on the front. It's got a tag there with some beads, some pearls on the butterfly. There's a little pocket there with a card in which slides out so you can journal on the back of there. Um, some vintage style lace just to complement it and then some roses on the front. There's a snippet of uh, cheesecloth fabric there too. Inside there's a pocket. Um, just adjust that a little bit so you can see. Um, <clears throat> there's a pocket there which has got a lace trim. And then these are some printable old uh, style vintage documents which I've put together with a little belly band on there. Um, and you've got plenty of uh, journaling space on the back of each one. So I think there's a credit note, a letter, um, an old, um, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, um, some sort of uh, um, vintage ledger paper. So inside there's another pocket which has got a um, lace trim to keep it closed. There's a um, cheesecloth with a material, uh, with a, a paper ruffle. There's a pocket in the front which has got a card in. More fingers and thumbs. Um, some more pockets on the inside with some more trim. An old vintage photo there. And then this actually folds out, um, which is a bit deceiving. And um, it gives you lots more journaling space tucked away inside there too. So I'll just close that quickly, as she says. There we are. So there's a pocket there with a the lace trim, some butterflies, a little bulb clip on one of the tags with some uh, of the lace trim. And um, inside here is a, a specimen card that's got some flowers that I uh, dried last year taken from my garden. Tiny flowers there, wildflowers. Um, there's lots of um, pockets in this envelope and sorry, there's lots of envelopes in this journal and they've all got, well, most of them have got bits and bobs in. Um, there's words, tags. So, uh, you know, just to make the journal your own. So um, investigate all of the pockets, see what you can find. The, um, the uh, paper clip here. Um, is a double-sided paper clip that's covered on both sides, courtesy of Tracy Fox on her uh, web page, on her tr uh, Facebook page this week. Had a brilliant idea, so thank you, Tracy. I've copied that. Um, and then there's they're all finished off with a bit of lace and um, either numbers or words or buttons, and you'll see different ones as you go through the journal. Lots of tags, envelopes. There's another envelope there. Um, cards. Some of the cards have been stamped on the back. Some of them have got um, um, coffee stained uh, on the back and then others I've stenciled with um, little designs. Um, there's coffee dyed paper throughout. Uh, that one's got a doily imprint on the front of that one. Some more of the um, vintage, vintage um, paper that I've made into uh, you just use my scraps I've made into paper ruffles. Um, some tags there. Excuse my dog barking in the background. She's she's nuts. 
So if she sees a cat or anything or any of my neighbours, she loves my neighbours. So she creates that she wants to go and see them. All the pockets are full of tags, um, um, little journaling spots, um, uh, little cards. And as you can see, there's lots and lots. I've, you know, I've not filled every page because um, some, you know, people want to have plenty of room to write all their thoughts and feelings down and uh, to use as, as um, journals, not just for <laughs> hiding all, all bits and bobs. Lots of pockets again, bookmarks. Um, some of them have got trims on. Um, some of the butterflies I've done 3D on the pages just to add a bit more interest. Um, another tag there. Some more vintage style documents and letters. So you use, you know, idea for journaling and on, on the backs of those. Little tuck spot there for you to pop something in. There's more coffee dyed paper. Another bookmarky type tag. Some lot of joys this one's got. Some more words and things in there. Some more of Tracy Fox's uh, paper clips. That one's got a number and a button, vintage button. And some little organza snippets on there, some lace. More tags. There you go. I'll try and run through these quickly because I don't want to take up too much time. It's just to give you an idea. I think there's, um, if I remember, I think there's 50, 52 pages, so you've got double that um, for sides for writing on. Some more cards and things in there, and some papers. This one's got a little lucky cat. Some more tags. Now these are um, some little envelopes I made out of parchment paper. There's some tags and things in there. Finished off with a little faux bead and um, I've done some stitching on my machine. There we go, some more tags there. Some butterflies, tiny little tags, cards, There's all sorts in there, quite a few bits and bobs. Another vintage style document in there for writing on the back. Put in a little pocket. Another one of those envelopes that I've made out of um, parchment paper. Another tag. That one's got a number, vintage button. These are my fabric snippets that I've done out of cotton with one of my paper ruffles on the top. Some more tags and pockets. Another ruffle there. Belly band with another envelope inside. This one's got um, a couple of cards in on that one. Another couple of pockets and tags. Most of the pockets have got lace trim with butterflies on. There's a tuck spot there. And that's the end. So I do hope you like it. It'll be going in my Etsy shop. Um, I will find the spot where this little tag has fallen off. I'll pop that back in and thank you for watching. Bye then. <laughs>